Hi you guys. So in this lesson, we're going to look at criterion B, which is mathematical communication. So uh, again, it's out of four. I find this is probably one of the most difficult to get full marks and to get four out of four, because often if you just make one or two little mistakes, you get penalized for it. And by mistakes, I mean like putting the wrong terminology, like here I've written this star for multiplication sign. Or if you do like, don't do 21 divided by three equals seven, that doesn't look good. It should be 21 over three equals seven. That looks better, things like that. So. Um, to get four, the mathematical communication is relevant, appropriate, and consistent throughout. Okay, so, well, again, these bullet points will explain what this actually means. So, firstly, define all your key terms and variables. Don't use X if you haven't defined what it is. So, if, you, if you're making a model looking at height against time or something, and you just say Y equals... Uh, y equals 5x squared or something um, and not say what y and what x is then you haven't defined your key terms or well, you haven't defined your, your variables key terms if you're doing something technical like um, let's think say you're doing something like uh, formula one and you're looking at downforce which is important in formula one well if, if you use the word downforce, explain to the reader what that is, because that's a key term. That's a that's a a term that someone who isn't into Formula One will not know. So make sure you do that. A bit like, or if you're doing, um, I don't know, whatever skiing, and there's some technical term for a for a special jump in skiing. Um, explain what it is. The mathematical language is correct. Notation, symbols, and terminology. So this is this kind of thing. Don't use a star, and you see this a lot students do three times four equals 12 because that's what that's what you write um well in desmos that's what you'd write to, to do the multiplication sign um no it's not that is not correct mathematical language so do not use it you need to either the for multiplication sign either the proper multiplication sign or the dot in the center now it's not a that's not an x that's a multiplication sign Use equation editor. Again, I've talked about Word it being the best one, Microsoft Word. This looks better than this. So what's the difference, you might say? Well, only a small difference in this example, but when you get all your equations together and and one student has used equation editor and another student has just used typing, this looks way better. So, and I'll show you an example of that soon. So make sure you use it. Put equations in the center of the page and explanations go on the left. Again, I'll show you an example, but that's important. Put your put your explanations on the left in writing and then your equations go in the center and give them plenty space. Diagrams, charts, tables, graphs and models are included and look good and professional. So try and include a, a variety of different of different um, mathematical presentations like tables, charts, uh, pictures, diagrams, whatever. I mean, you can't in include them all, and sometimes you you mightn't you mightn't want to include a model or whatever. But if you can include different forms of presentation, and it looks good, um, make sure they look good and look professional. So I've used that word a lot, professional, wh whatever that means. But it ju I just mean it looks it it looks like it's not just been thrown together. You've really taken care, and it looks good. Looks matter a lot in an IA generally put in the center of the page. So um, yeah, if you have a table or a chart or a graph, put it in the center, unless you have a good reason not to do that. Make sure all diagrams, charts, and, and models have titles, so title everything. It's, n it's a good idea to kind of just do figure one, figure two, figure three, underneath it, figure one, underneath your diagram. Then the next one can be figure two, and then you can just refer to it that way. Um, and and axes when they exist are labeled. So label your axes. That means obviously um, put here. Look, GDP in whatever thousands of dollars, and here I don't know crime. But whatever again, what are you measuring crime in? So you put that in in your bracket. 
Last one, use appropriate degree of accuracy and explain why. Example, my highest jump was 1.35446336653334 meters. Does not look good. High jump records are measured to the nearest centimeter. Therefore, I will be rounding all my answers to the nearest centimeter or two decimal places. My highest jump was 1.35 meters. That looks much better. Okay, let me go through a few. I'll just show you a few different um, examples. So back to this swimming one. And you'll see there's an overlap between criterion A and criterion B. Often if you do well on one, you do well on the other because there, there's a little bit of an overlap in uh, like your graphs and your and your tables and, and like if this if your equations if your equations look good that gives you good mathematical communication and then if they're in the right place that helps with your presentation so um yeah kind of working them both together so look a few things the equa the equations are in the center all her variables are defined here um the axes are labeled uh, here she says, I have rounded the mean and standard deviation to two decimal places. In swimming competitions, times are recorded to two decimal places. And then she explains she explains why. Um, I'll show you this example again. Look, the mathematical presentation here is perfect. Look, equations in the center with plenty of space. Um, looks good. You can just see from looking at it that the mathematical communication is good. Uh, next one. So look, here's a table and she's got plenty of data and she says reference to appendix one for all the data points. She doesn't want to show all the data points here. Nice that this gra or this um, scatter plot looks good. It's got a title. Axes are labeled. Um, equation in the center, table, again, refer to appendix two, clear what she is doing. Um, let me show you, well, I want to show you one example now that isn't good, right? And this is often what I see in um, like a first draft. I often get things like this. Clearly not good not good um, mathematical communication or presentation. It's it's most likely been written on pages or something, I think. Well, it, or even if it's Word. There's star, like, I don't know what these stars are doing. Um, things aren't in the center. There's no space. There's no explanations on the left. Um, the fact that it's all on the left, it just doesn't look good. X bar here. Um, so this all needs this all needs to be fixed. And yeah, I should actually have I didn't mention that. Look at for these equations, look, the 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 writing the writing is here on the left, equation in the center. Multiplying both sides by by R1 and R2, equation in the center. Substituting this in, equations. And you don't have to do that for every single line, you can just simplify to here. Then same thing. Using Pythagorean theorem to get this. Thus, let A and then it all looks good. Okay, hopefully that will help with your criterion B. Remember, try and get everything to look as good as possible. Now, it ta this it takes ages because I've done it. I've tried myself writing out IAs properly, and it really, really takes a long time, especially trying to figure out that equation editor. It can be so annoying. So that's just one of the that's one of the things you're going to have to do, to deal with. You're going to have to put in the time to make it look good. Formatting and editing is always look, it's always a pain. Um but that's just the way it is. So but it's but it's worth it because it'll help you get a good grade. Okay, next lesson um next video will be criterion C obviously.